Now uh, we're making our pasta. We're making let's start pasta. from scratch. Let's start from scratch. Right, so we have all purpose flour that we're going to add into our food processor. And then we're going to use some pastry flour, and that's a, part, a bit of the secret here. So, so we got half and that. half? Uh, it's two, it's one and a quarter cups and half a cup. Mm -hmm. So all the recipes can be found at canolarecipes.ca. Yeah. So we got that all mixed up, and I'm just going to put my lid on, give it a little. So just want to incorporate that salt in there. Now I have two eggs that are beaten. I'm going to add in a little water, a tablespoon of water. Doing all your liquids together first. All the liquids together. Mm -hmm. And two tablespoons of canola. And that's one of the liquids. That's one. And that's two. And the canola really helps to add the flavors throughout it. I forgot my chives. Oh, the secret ingredient. Sake, so we're going to just add that in. This gives a really nice flavor. And you know, easy from the garden. A little bit of color. A little bit of color. So as it's blending, just pour it in. And it's done. That's it. That's it. Well, good night, everybody. Thanks for <laughs> tuning in. On my board, yes. a little flour. So you just want it to be kind of this crumple. And now I'm going to pour it out. We're going to catch it all in there. We'll scoop out the bottom. And now you just come start bringing it together. And this is a fun thing to do, it especially is. if you have a couple of toddlers yeah. in the kitchen. Oh, yes. Yes, anything with flour, I find. <laughs> and, you know, the patience of the adults, too. You have to enjoy cooking, and it's fun to cook with your hands, because those are your secret ingredients. So we're going to bring that together. Now the key here is take this dough, wrap it up in saran wrap, and put it in your fridge for an hour. Oh, we don't have that much time. We don't. So no. thank goodness I made some before. Oh. So when it comes out, you can see how it was kind of crumbly before, and now it's a little softer, it's a little smoother around, and it's really doughy and sticks together nice. Give it a feel that, feel it. It's just gorgeous. Oh, it's like Play-Doh. Isn't that beautiful? I could make all kinds of things. <laughs> there. Okay. So we're going to take the dough, we're going to cut it into thirds, and we're only we're going to work with one third at a time. And you want to keep your other dough um, in the saran wrap so it doesn't dry out, because that's the fear. Now we're just going to roll this out nicely, and we have our pasta maker. Now there's different types of pasta maker, but you can do by hand, or there's ones that um, hook up to your... Um, Electricity? Yes. <laughs> but no, no. Not for us, Jim. Okay. Okay, so this is on the first one. Yeah, this will just kind of give you an idea. Right. And then we, we're going to put this through a couple of times. While we're doing that, though, I want to let you know, remind you, as I mentioned earlier, where you can get recipes. And this is where, of course, all locations of the uh, Manitoba Liquor Marts. You can go online to the website, liquormartsonline.com. Very easy to remember. Uh, foodmanitoba.ca, another good example. Lots of places, so very easy to get here. Let me just put that in there. there. And of course, uh, gov.mb.ca slash agriculture is another location where you can uh, get the websites. And every Sunday in the classified section of the Winnipeg Free Press, you'll get that week's uh, recipe along with a lovely collectible photograph of someone, well, not unlike Ellen Proof. Well, thank you. Yes. Well, and you can go to canolarecipes.ca. We have them all online or there, on just, our website. Just as it says. Just right here. Yeah. So each time we're going to get thinner and thinner and longer and longer. So we're oh. going to run it through one more time Ooh. here. And so you don't need two hands, but we love to cook together, don't we? We it's do. It's all about it. Yeah. And flouring in between. And you see it nicely folds down into beautiful little uh, folds, and then you just unravel oh, it. Lovely. So we are now going to make some fettuccine. Okay. So to go with our sauce and, later. Is that the one that works the best, fettuccine? Uh, well, it's a really nice just one. So I've made them to be a little room. smaller. Okay. And we yeah. just run them through. This is my first time on a oh, spaghetti sorry. making machine. And there we go. It's Jim, likely the it only the way I'll ever make dough in my life. But. And here it is, beautiful cuts. And our water is coming to a full boil. You want it to be in a rapid boil. Let's do one more. And you're going to flour in between. And so that's helped to prevent them from clumping together. And getting all stickied up. So your guests would just love if you made this. You know, and it's a fun thing. Bring it into the kitchen. Enjoy everyone in there. And then with using, a canola, with using canola oil, it's a really mild taste. So it allows the flavors to come through. And what I want these flavors to happen is these chives. And then also to oh, go with the sauce. Yes. See, I'd invite my guests to come early so they could help me make this because... Yeah. Well, if you, you make know. the dough ahead of time, then, yeah, you just need it's, an hour it, and then you're the ready to go. This is kind of it's just more fun for it my is. person. Okay, we are going to take a I'm quick break. Hour. We're going to let our fettuccine a la chive uh, boil away here and we'll be back uh, before you know it. We, oh, we're going to do a sauce. Oh, we do have a sauce and a special giveaway from Canola. We'll be right back.